when you are a user of quizzes, in addition to using the assessments and quizzes that you have created with a whole class, you can also assign a quizzes as a homework or for solo practice. So the way that you're going to do that is first by accessing any quizzes that you have created or saved in My Quizzes. So let's say, for example, we want this one and we want to be able to either assign this as homework or assign it as solo practice for students. So when you click on one of the assessments that you've created in your quizzes, you see you have three different options as to how to engage this game. The live game, which we've already gone over, is what you would use if you wanted to participate in this as a whole class activity. If you wanted to assign this as homework, and we're just going to hover on this little question mark to give you a further explanation, homework, you can set a deadline and anyone can play at any time before that deadline hits. With the homework, when you assign it as a homework, you will also get the results of the homework, assuming the students put in their correct names when prompted. Solo practice differs a little bit because what solo practice does is it allows the students to play as often as they want as long as you leave it open and the link doesn't expire and you don't get a report on how the students did during their solo practice. So this can be a nice feature if you want the students to review something in class when you're not going to be there or you just want to give them some extra practice before a test as an option. So if you're going to assign this as homework, when you click on the homework tab, you're going to get some options to set deadlines as to when this is due. Once that due date and time passes, the student will not be able to take this assessment. So by default, it usually gives them 24 hours, but if you click on the drop down, you can pick any date, and then you can pick a very specific time so that this link automatically will become inactive and you won't have to actually shut the quiz down after a certain time frame. So you can see we have two, the students have two days and three hours, 57 minutes from now to do this. So if you set up a class in quizzes, you can assign this to a specific class, but it's also as easy as clicking host a game and it gives you the information right here that you will provide to the students. So the site that they use to start this homework assignment is to joinmyquiz.com, which is the same URL they go to if they're going to participate in a live session in class. So you're going to give them that link, and then you are going to provide them with this code, which will allow them then to enter into the quiz. And I'll show you what it looks like on my other screen. So I'm now in a different window pretending I am a student and I went to joinmyquiz.com. This is the code area where I will put the code that the teacher has provided for me and I will click join. So this is where if in order to actually make sure that you see how the students did on the homework assignment or that they actually did it, um, you kind of have to be specific that they put in their real name, uh, their first and last name if you prefer. So we put in the name we click start and then depending on how you set this up they may have as much time as they want for each question or you may have set a time limit that depends on um, how you set it up the students don't need to create an account for this they can close out of that and they can just click start and they can begin So they'll run through the assessment and once they have submitted all of their questions you will get the results immediately on your end in the report section. If the student can't finish this in one sitting they do have the option to save and exit in the middle of it so you'll see at the upper left hand side, side over here and I'm still in this as a student if they need to pause it because there are time limits on this they can pause it they can resume the game or they can save and exit so that the next time they enter that code, it will bring them back to the last question that they were on. So I'm now back over onto my teacher screen where I generated the code for this assessment as a homework. I'm going to end this game right now so that you can see how to do this as a solo. So we're going to end this. And by ending it, this would actually not allow any other students to enter to take the assessment. So we're going to go back over to my quizzes and they're the same quiz that we were on before if I want to generate solo practice which again I would not get a report on how the students did um, all I need to do is click share a practice link you're going to copy this link and then all you need to do is copy and paste this link into OneNote, Edmodo, however you would normally um, distribute digital content to your students 
and there's no code or anything like that that the students need to enter because they're not recording any information that is going to go back to you. So it's just a quick click of the link and the students can take the assessments as many times as they want to. So I just popped over to another browser and I pasted that link and this is what it would look like from the student end. So they can either play this as the regular assessment or they can use flashcards. They can have a timer on, they can have a timer off, they can turn off the memes which show up after they answer each question. Um, they do have a little bit of options here in terms of how they want to play it, but they can play this as many times as they want. There is no limit to it. So that's basically the differences between um, assigning this as homework versus assigning this as solo. Homework, the you will get a report on how the students did and you can set a time limit. Solo is just for practice. You generate a link and the students can practice it on their own as many times as they want and you do not get any feedback on your end.